What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Yak Thrasher. So hope everyone's having a good day and everyone is staying dry, especially in the southeast because Hurricane Irma has finally reached Dawsonville, Georgia and it's coming down like a madhouse out here guys. And if y'all hear any loud noises, any wind or rain or anything like that, it's just a hurricane. It is starting to blow on up through North Georgia and so it's, uh, it's here. And uh, I'm still praying for the guys in Texas, you know, everybody in Texas that hit uh, Hurricane Harvey hit, and also everyone in Florida, because these past two hurricanes have been brutal. So, but today I'm out in the garage, and I'm going to do the kind of overview and top review of how I got my new canoe pursuit, 13 and a half foot long new canoe pursuit set up and ready to fish. So, um, I'm still missing a few things on it right now, but uh, this is just kind of bare minimum, you know, bare bone of what I got on it right now. So. I'm going to be, I can't get the full picture in, so I'm going to be doing a lot of moving the camera around and so on and so forth, so just bear with me, guys. Like I said, guys, I hope everyone is enjoying their day and trying to stay dry. And guys, if you are liking this stuff, go ahead and smash that thumbs up. Go ahead and uh, give me a thumbs up. You know, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, if you want to meet up a fish, whatever, drop a comment down in the comment section below, and I'll get back to you within a day or so, guys. I know I've been kind of out of the loop. I do got a whole bunch of more river footage that I'm trying to edit today and get out. Uh, cause I got caught off of work today, so I, I'm trying to get everything I can done and, uh, trying to get it going guys. If, if y'all want to see more of this type of stuff, go and smash that subscribe button too. I'd greatly appreciate it. It helps me out, helps you out, helps me to be able to get more videos out to you and, uh, to y'all and get it all done guys. So let's just get back right into the boat. I'm going to try to make it short and sweet and just kind of tell y'all what I got going on. So let's go. All right guys, so I'm gonna start from the front and kind of just walk towards the back and then we'll get some more footage of inside the boat. So this is the 2016 New Canoe Pursuit. It is 13 and a half feet long and it is 35 inches wide across. Outstanding stable boat. I mean, it's very durable, it's very stable and the speed, I was completely shocked. It, it moves through that water. So at the front, do a little overview. You know you got your little handle, cord handle. And then you got, going on down, look at that killer new canoe symbol. Moving on down, you got your dry hatch. Down here in the dry hatch, um, I got my battery set up, so I took out the white container that comes with it. But you got your dry hatch. You can basically fit rods all the way through if you if you like. But it comes with rod too, so we'll get that in just a second. Um, this also is an insert. You can use it as a cooler. It goes into the hatch. Um, I just I have it out because I got the battery and stuff hooked up right now. But I just keep extra drag chain, some uh, river or not river, some uh, rope in it for the river, and uh, that's pretty much it for in there. I mean, you got plenty of storage. I mean, you can fit you know hammocks, camo, or not. God, I am losing my mind today. Hammocks, camping gear, whatever you like, you can mostly fit in this dry hatch, and it's it's very dry. I've had a hat in there. It's actually hanging out there on the tree. I've had a hat in there for a week. And just from the condensation of the heat, it actually put mold on the hatch. So this hatch is very dry. I'm completely shocked at how dry this front hatch is. So uh, I, I would be very comfortable with putting some clothes in it and uh, not even put them in a bag. But I'll still always put them in a bag. Moving on down. Um, this is typically not here. This is an add-on I got. This is the drawer, the shelf and drawer that you can get from New Canoe. You can just... It's got a little bungee cord you attach it to the top. You can get it on. That's where I keep mainly all my go-tos, my soft plastics, my turning tags, which should be in here. There it is. The turning tags and the light just went out. Just all that good stuff in there. I really need to clean it out. There's a lot of a lot of junk in there. Um, this is where I usually have my uh, GoPro attached right here. I like it right there because I can easily reach it, turn it which way, way I want to. And this thing right here is sky's limit. You can basically attach anything you want to to it. You can see I got my Lawrence HDS5 Gen 2 attached to it. You've got the Roto Grip I got attached to it. I got the transducer arm mount attached to it, which I need to tighten. And also, whenever you get the drawer in the shelf, it comes with this track system on top. So that's very handy. You can mount just about anything. They also make another attachment that can go on top of this. Or you don't even have to have the drawer. It'll still go into it. And uh, you can attach, I mean, sky's the limit on. Moving on down, you got your um, you got your drain plugs right here. And then you got your freedom tracks. Tracks go full length of the boat. 
I'm telling you, it is outstanding. I love it. I mean, I can attach just about anything to it. I love it. I still got to get my sea deck pad in that hasn't came in yet. And I got a few more things coming in. I got to, uh, I got to get on the boat. Um, you can just see I got a little ram ball right here in case I want to attach some. These are your little paddle keepers or paddle parks, whatever you want to call them. There's one right here. And there's one on the other side that's actually holding my paddle right now. That is the Bending Branches Angler Classic Paddle. It is a wonderful paddle, super light, I love it. Uh, moving on down, kind of inside the boat, you got your two handles, which I got my drag chain attached to right here on this side, but you got your two strong sturdy handles. I mean, they actually have some bungee to it. So, uh, they're actually very comfortable, fitting your arm very well. Oh yeah, here's the rod tubes, check those out. You can fit right at a nine foot fly rod in these rod tubes, that's how long they are. It's awesome, so you can get two on each side, and then you go into the back, this is where your rod butts can seat. Very handy. I use it on the river. That That is the best, one of the best parts about this boat because I don't have to have, if I'm fishing the river, I don't have to have the rod sticking up in the air. So I, that's awesome. I, I, I freaking love it. Moving on to the bad to the bone 360 pinnacle seat. This seat is awesome. Completely 360 degrees. And I just dropped my paddle off completely 360 degrees I mean you can you can basically you can have that sitting right there you can sit in that seat have your feet in the water and there is no tippy whatsoever on the boat completely I cannot tell you how stable this boat is this seat is phenomenal super comfortable I absolutely love it um, and actually you could probably fit you know some type of little bag straight through here and just you know attach it with some carabiners come in real handy um, and then on the frame you have your locking bolts that you can actually move it. You actually uh, trim the boat out, which is which is pretty cool. And also, which comes in pretty handy is uh, the hog trough actually fits in the frame. So that's uh, that's pretty uh, handy. Oh, there's my clip. Sweet. I ain't got to order a new one. All right. That's just little cushions. You can actually lower this seat if you wish. Um, you can actually take that little cushion out. And then the frame will actually drop down about, I don't know, about two inches. Um, but I like to sit high, so I keep it, I keep it high up. I gotta put that back in there. But moving on, back here where your rod butts are on each side, there's an anchor hook or a cleat, whatever you want to call it. You can, uh, I usually attach my lip grips or a leash or something to it. You got a cup holder, which is dirty. This boat's filthy. I haven't cleaned it since I've been on the river. Been so busy. You got your extra drain, drain plug drain holes right here and actually the um the channel system actually works very well you know it's got channels length uh, the whole length of the boat which is, and I've, I've actually tested it whenever i went down a, a shoal a pretty good little shoal water came in and actually it rode the channel all the way down and all i did was just pull these up and it drained out right away i was pretty uh pretty pretty surprised by that also stock or you know that comes stock on the boat you got two flush mount rod holders and also you got a track system right here on both sides um and i'll get to how my crate set up in just a second or my yak attack black pack but uh there's a track system that you can you know you can put a full size cooler back here in the tank well and you can actually strap it using the track system which is a pretty pretty nifty and handy little handy little system they got i mean they they put a lot of great minds together into making and designing this boat. It's a phenomenal boat. Boat, super sturdy, and also made in the USA, America. So moving on. So this is a kind of a thing I came up with a little DIY. Let me scoot back and let y'all see it. So there's my Yak Attack Black Pack. And as you can see, it's elevated. So I got, so I actually took cutting board and attached it to the bottom of the Black Pack, then drilled two holes in it for the nut and bolt system to attach to the track. So now you can slide and tighten it down wherever you need it. And you also have storage up underneath it. So far it's working very well, but also what's good about that is you can take that off and actually, actually turn it the other way and it fits completely flush into the bottom of the boat. So if you wanna lower that, you can. It's a very, I love it. It's a very, I, so far it's coming handy for me. I mean, you got plenty of storage up underneath, and it keeps your stuff elevated where it's not going to get wet if if there was to get water in the boat. In the back of the boat, you got a hatch. 
<clears throat> um, it's a dry hatch. I took my bag out. If I can, there we go. I took my bag out, but you know you can fit, you know you can fit a few little things down here. But I just recommend attaching the string in case it slides back and forward. You can just grab the string and get it all out. Um, and then the greatest thing about new canoe is that you can attach. I think it's a two and a half or three and a half horsepower outboard motor to the back of this. They have a bracket that you can get from new canoe that goes over this transom right here. As you can tell, it's a flat transom and it'll uh, basically reinforce that transom where you can fit that bigger motor on them you can also put a transom mount troll motor on the on the back and with the plug and play you can control it with your feet and then also you can put a front mount troll motor to the front of the kayak and you can you can run it from the front a lot of people are kind of sketchy about doing that but from what i've seen what i'm going to do it's going to come in real handy having that front one up um, special wind but this this boat as long you know it's very big and it is heavy it, it comes in dry at 82 pounds so but for the most part it works out fairly well it's not too heavy it's not you know not too bulky and it handles great in the wind i love it as you can see i got my little drag chain on the back i just got it coming out through the hole where the transom melt will go and then you know you got your drain plug right here and you got your skid plate right there which it needs a good bath but guys, that's pretty much it. Let me get the camera flip back around and I'll get back to you in just one second. Alright guys, I'm back. So that's pretty much how, you know, basically just basic how I have it laid out. I got a lot more rigging to do. That's the great thing about New Canoe. These, the rigging options on a New Canoe, on really any model of New Canoe, sky's the limit. You can put just about anything, even a gas motor, on this New Canoe. It's, it's fantastic. I love it. I have always wanted a New Canoe. Um, ever since I first saw them in the store, probably, God, almost 10 years ago. And I just, I fell in love with them. I love the open concept. I love how stable they are. I mean, you know how I fish. I love to stand up. I love to sight fish, pitch docks, you know, you know, fish this, fish that. And I'm always fishing, standing up. And I love it. I've actually walked from the back of the boat all the way to the front of the boat and actually stood on the front. That's how stable this is. Yeah, I got good balance, and I, yeah, it took me some practice. I was a little bit shaky and wobbly, but it worked. I was completely surprised that whenever I, I was able to walk the full length. Don't even get me started on the Frontier. The Frontier is 41 inches wide. You can jump up and down, and the thing won't even budge. That's how awesome these things are, man. You know, if, if you haven't got a chance to get your hands on and check them out, you know, go over to your local dealer. Go over to your, you know, local kayak shop. And if you're in the Georgia area, hit me up. I'll be more than happy to let you take this thing out and demo it out, fish it for a day, whatever you want to do. I'll be right there with you next to you guys. But I hope you're enjoying this stuff. I got a lot more stuff coming to you. I've been super busy. Like I said, I've started a new job, so uh, I haven't been able to keep up with the videos as much as I have. But I'm planning on getting this one up today and unboxing up today. You'll have about three more unboxings this week, but just one of them today. And then also I got to finish that river fishing video. But guys, I hope everyone's doing well. I hope you're enjoying this stuff. And again, guys, do not forget, do not forget, like, share, post, comment, subscribe to this channel, guys. Hope everyone is doing well. Hope you are having a great week, staying dry. I'm going to get back at it and uh, shoot them other videos, guys. But if you have any questions, drop them in the comment section down below. And I'll get back to you guys. Stay classy. Keep them tight lines. Deuces!